More and more voters are ready to ignore the three main parties at the general election, according to the opinion polls. The UK Polling Report website suggests 13% may vote for other parties. That's up from 8% in 2005. The UK Independence Party have been the biggest beneficiaries here in the Midlands so far. In the European elections last June, UKIP picked up 300,000 votes and won two seats. It's time the voters understood that there's really only one party in Westminster at the present time. It's called the Lib Lab Con and it has one policy because it's a single issue party. It believes we should be run by Europe. So, if you want domestic policy in this country being controlled at Westminster, you have to vote UKIP because the others are giving it all away to be done in Brussels and 75% of our law is now made in Brussels. With me here this afternoon, Christopher Gill, who will be uh, remembered by many as the uh, former Conservative MP for Ludlow, where you are now standing for UKIP, of course, Christopher. I've come on this programme to talk about the general election. And the big issues at this general election are undoubtedly the national economy, immigration, I and mean, this is a subject on everybody's lips, and as far as I'm concerned in the Ludlow constituency, the rural economy. But none of these problems can be resolved whilst we remain in the European Union, where we are hamstrung. We are no longer able to provide British answers to British problems. Which is why Mike Natras described all the other major parties as single-issue campaigners. But surely, as someone who has you, yourself occupied the government backbenches as a Conservative MP, you would have to see the difference, that there is more than a hint of the single-issue campaign about UKIP compared with a, a full-scale large party. Well, we started perhaps as a pressure group, but we've, we've had to uh, expand and we have now got a full range of policies right across the board on every, every subject, every topic, and uh, that is the basis on which we'll be fighting this general election. And we look forward to hearing them spelled out during the course of the campaign. And what is more, we're going Gill. to be telling the truth. Thank you very much indeed.